First of all, and this is going to be like a little repetitive from yesterday, but how, how have you been since, I mean, for the last couple of months, how have you been feeling? Um, it changes every day, <laughs> but um, at first I was just upset and um, sad and stuff like that, and now it's more um, excited for my future and everything that I have coming to me, so okay. it's just a giant mix of emotions that goes up and down all the time, but that's just girls for you. <laughs> um, I guess like when you, were you expecting like when that video, like as your attorney mentioned yesterday, you didn't even realize it was being recorded. So <clears throat> did you have any idea that that many people would even see it? No, I didn't think that many people would see it at first. I thought it was just the people that watched me that night. Um, but as um, it got out, I was kind of surprised to see how many people responded to it and just all these different people that care about what I'm doing with my life and stuff like that. It's, it's interesting, but um, I definitely never thought it would be like millions of people. How is, like, how is that, like, knowing that so many people are, like, kind of <laughs> seeing you in the spotlight, what is that like for you? Um, it's weird for me. I'm not used to that many people, like, um, Googling me and stuff like that. I never thought I would Google myself and there'd be all this stuff. Like I used to Google myself when I was younger and there would just be like my track records for school and my Facebook and stuff. And now it's like, if you just start typing my name, it pops up. So it's been really weird. Um, I just, I wonder why so many people are so interested in it. It's, but they have their reasons. <laughs> um, I guess like, um, so you mentioned, so like, what was your initial response when it first like went viral? Um, my initial response, I was really shocked. Um, I was just sitting on my couch watching, you know, YouTube. And uh, just as the notifications kept coming up, I was like, this is weird. Like, normally I do get a lot of friend requests, but it's not like five every minute. And then it turned into like 20 every minute and just it kept blowing up and blowing up. And eventually, like, people couldn't send me friend requests anymore because it was full. And so <laughs> I was just really shocked at how much it blew up and how fast that this all happened. Um, what's actually really quick? Can you move your hair? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, how's it been like? Has your like what's just kind of the response been for you with the people like around you, your friends, your family? Um, mostly it's been positive. Me and my parents, we've had our ups and downs, but um, they support me still, and they're I'm closer with them now than I ever have been before, so that's nice. Um, I have a few friends that stuck around and they still want to be my friend and stuff like that and um, they'll support me no matter what and then I have the friends that didn't want to be a part of it anymore and they left with their their own reasons but um I wasn't really fighting for them to stay because I don't I don't want to put them in that position if they don't want to be in it then that's fine yeah um when you like when you first do you want to talk about like first when you first started working for My Free Cans? Was it like, was that something you knew you wanted to do? Um, at first, when I started working, I thought it would just be something fun to do. Like, um, I knew that I would be able to do it for years and years until I got ugly. <laughs> but I just I felt blessed to have found it at 19 at such a young age, and to be able to do that and have so much fun and make so much money. Like I just I was so excited about it, and um, I really worked a lot the first like the first week or so that I, I was on there all the time and um, then you know when my parents found out I didn't work as much and I was dealing with that and dealing with my thoughts about school and wanting to quit and deciding if I wanted to go this route or like quit that and go to, back to school but um, I definitely decided that I would rather do this and have fun and be myself instead of be who I thought everyone wanted me to be. Did your parents find out before this video went viral? Yeah, they found out before. Um, they found out from a friend, sadly. I didn't have the guts to tell them. I was afraid of what they would say. Um, so yeah, eventually, I just tried putting it off as long as I could, and eventually um, they found out. And, um, you know, it wasn't very, very good response. They, um, they didn't want this for me at all, and they don't understand why I want to do it. But um, Eventually, they just kind of got to the terms that this is what I wanted. This was what was going to make me happy. And they want to see me happy. They're my parents, so they um, 
we've gotten better about it. We just don't, we try not to talk about it very much. <laughs> I try and talk about other things because they're probably just so tired of hearing all about it. Um, do you want to talk at all about like how they did find out? You don't, I mean, you don't have to. Do well, it was actually my fault. Um, I wasn't thinking. This seems to be a recurring theme for me, doing things without thinking. <laughs> but, um, I logged into, I set up a Twitter for my like username and stuff for the My Free Camps. And um, I was trying to set it private, and they're like, before you can do any of the settings, we need your phone number. So without thinking, I put my actual phone number in there just to you know, get it over with. And then it messaged anyone who had my phone number telling them, hey, like your friend just signed up for this. Here's their profile. And so multiple people were messaging me like, I don't know if this is really you, but people are using your pictures for this. And um, sadly, one of my mom's closest friends, who was also a family friend of ours, told her and so um, she texted me and was just like so are, are you getting paid for this like how, how does this happen and stuff and she's like wondering what my thought process was why I wanted to do this and um, yeah sadly that's how she found out it wasn't from me but then more people started to find out and then eventually I just stopped lying about it and started telling the truth. How long I, like what kind of timeline this was last year sometime? Yeah um, I'd say I signed up beginning of October or so um, maybe end of September, and um, then a couple months went by, it was maybe two months and my parents found out, and then um, two months and everyone found out. <laughs> do you, like, was this something that you knew you always wanted to do? Um, this is something that's always been in the back of my mind that I would dream about, but um, I pushed it away because I was always told, you know, you're supposed to go to college, get a degree, and get a good job with your degree, but um, I thought I didn't want to go that route. I always wanted to be a model. I always wanted to model for Playboy and Penthouse and stuff like that. And um, I just never actually thought it would happen because I knew that there's a lot of girls that try so hard to get into it and it's very hard for them to, you know, find their, find the door and um, to get them into it. But me, I was just lucky enough to get pushed down the stairs <laughs> into it. Um, I don't know. Um, so like when you were do so with my free camps, like that wasn't, like you had no idea, I guess like were you prepared for, um, like for everything to happen so fast, like when you were doing those videos? Um, I had time to prepare for it. Um, I had to get over the fact, you know, that everyone was going to see me naked and that's definitely a fear for a lot of people that, you know, everyone would see them naked over the internet, but, um. I had time to get over it and I'm, I've always been really confident so um, I never really had a problem with it and then I'd say it really helped me because when this all got out and like millions of people had seen me naked I was already ready for it. Like I had already mentally prepared myself for it and um, had enough confidence to where I, I didn't care and I don't care the harsh things that people have to say, I don't listen. So I just, it's, um, I've been preparing myself for it since I started camming so it wasn't as bad as most people would think. Um, okay. I guess, like, do you, what are your goals, like, right now, what are your goals going forward? Um, basically, I want to do everything but, um, you know, hardcore porn with the, you know, actors and stuff like that and all the lights and cameras on you. Um, I've had a lot of great opportunities for people to make my dreams come true. Like, um, I had wonderful people to put me on Playboy and to put me on Penthouse, which was an amazing experience. Um, I've had an awesome chance to get back into camming with playwithkendra.com. Um, I have a sugar dating website called um, datebrokecollegegirls.com and that's going extremely well. And um, yeah, we just sort of been getting into designing my own toys and um, just adult novelties and everything. So I just, I really want to do everything except the hardcore porn because there's so many different things in this industry. So. so you're already like setting your limits now, moving forward, like knowing like where you want to go, okay. Definitely, I want to be more of a mentor for girls and tell them that, you know, there's other things you can do in this industry besides getting yourself into that because there's a lot of girls that it doesn't work out for and they end up addicted to drugs and just like washed out and I just want to be like a mentor for them so that they can do more things in this business like me instead of just that. Um, I guess like so right now um, are you so you have your your new business and then you also have playwithkendra.com um, are you like 
are you working with any other companies or like modeling for anyone right now? Um, I've done modeling for the Playboy.com and Penthouse. So those were the kind of two big ones for me, um, especially Penthouse because I'll be in their magazine. Um, so that was really exciting. Those are just mostly like the big modeling stuff. Um, but yeah, the businesses and all my websites and my own website, KendraSunderland.net, has been doing really well. So um, I'm mostly running with those now. I don't, I haven't done any other huge photo shoots recently. Are you, um, do you have like one, do you have like one big goal still? Like is your goal still to work for Playboy and like yeah, I just, I want to be in more magazines. Um, I want to just get into everything else, make, make money and stuff like that, because I've never really had money. So it's difficult for me to get a hold of that and um, not go shopping all the time. So it's been hard for me, but I just, um, I want everyone to kind of know my name and see me as that, that girl that just does all these different things and has her own businesses and chose business instead of just having sex on camera. That's basically my goal. I do want to have like my own website, or my, I have my own website, but I want to have like a blog where girls can write in to me and um, write me like their problems, ask for advice and stuff like that. And um, so that's one of my other goals. The toy, I've always wanted to have my own toys deal and like adult novelty, so that one's been taken care of. Um, modeling for magazines, that was another one of my goals and that's been taken care of. So I think it's all, it's all coming together. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, I see myself hopefully dressing better, <laughs> like more professional. I want like a nice suit and stuff like that. And then I see myself, um, you know, with my Bluetooth headset and ordering people around and um, being just a boss is what I, <laughs> I want to do. And um, I just want people to look up to me for that. And uh, definitely driving an Audi R8. That's the car I've always wanted. And um, just have everything set up for myself so I don't have to worry as much anymore about you know if I'm going to be able to pay my rent or stuff like that and um, just be like an idol to some girls is where I see myself. Is that like is that why you started with my free cams was to be able to kind of not hopefully not worry about those dresses like paying rent and like paying your bills and stuff? Yeah I'd, I'd say that's why I started I didn't take it as seriously so like I would get my paycheck and I would stop working until like near the end of the month when I'm like, oh crap, I need to work again. So I didn't take it as seriously as I could have. I could have weighed, I could have made way more money than I did. But um, I, I saw it as kind of that, as like an easy way to pay my bills. I, when my roommate, my old roommate, when she would be like, you know, why don't you get a real job? Like, you're really choosing this over everything else. And I was like, well, you don't understand this could set me up my entire life to be financially set. Like I won't ever have to worry anymore. And that just, that seems so nice to me, especially when I'm doing something that was just so much fun. So like when it boils down to it, this is something that you like always wanted to do. It's not like you're doing something to make money that you don't enjoy doing. Mm, I definitely think that's been a big part of it. It's not just the money that I want. It's, you know, this has always been something that's so much fun for me. And I feel like people don't understand. They're like, they think I'm just after money and they think I had a hard childhood and like, it's my parents' fault that I'm doing this. And it's really not, it's all me. This is a hundred percent like what I like to do. And just, that's been another reason why I don't care when people like say crap about me because I'm like, you know what, I'm happy. I'm living my life the way I want to. And if you can't accept that, then fine, block me. I really don't care. <laughs> It's been easy because it's something that I've just always dreamed of doing. Okay. Um, and like, oh. <laughs> and like you said, so like, and you have your family support in there. It's, what does that mean to you to have your family being there for you? It means so much more to me than I think that they know. I mean, there's plenty of parents that would just stop talking to their kids because of this, and um, the fact that. My mom, she doesn't like this industry. She doesn't like anything that has to do with it. And the fact that she still loves me and she still um, texts me all the time, like telling me, you know, I love you no matter what, is just, it means so much to me because I don't know what I would do without my family. Like, I, if I was never able to see them again, I'd, I'd be so lonely and by myself and I, I couldn't handle it. So it's been s so nice that they still support me. And I, I like plan on repaying them any way that I can after this. <laughs> And they're in Salem. Are you back home? In you're back home in Salem. So you're closer to family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. 
Um, I guess like, is there any, I know, were you mentioning there was like an announcement or something? Or oh, like, for today? The, yeah. The toy dump, we got her novelty contract signed. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, so when I was doing my interviews, I mentioned that one of my dreams has always been to have my own toy line. And um, I've had some great ideas for it, some things that I've never seen before that I don't think anyone's ever come up with. So I'm really excited about that. And um, the company Pipe Dream uh, messaged us and uh, wanted to give me a deal. And so um, I went down there and I met them. And it was funny they have just this room full of toys. And that was fun to just go around and look at. And um, they offered me a deal. And so yeah, we just, we just signed it. What does that mean to you? Um, it really, it surprises me how much people are willing to help me like and make my dreams come true and that they believe in me and believe that I can do this and it's just, it means more to me than anything. I don't think they understand that for them to want to make my dreams come true. And it's just, it's, it blows me away still. But I'm super excited about it, so. Um, so, I guess like, Yesterday, so you were talking about the video and like how you have like some regrets. Like, are there still regrets there about that video, or do you want to talk at all about that? Um, it's just a mixture of feelings. Um, I regret getting myself into this kind of trouble and having to deal with all this, and um, it really disappoints me that the university and the DA's office are pushing so hard to, you know, get me charged with this. Um, on the other hand, I'm just, I'm happy that it, it opened all these doors for me, but I definitely learned my lesson about doing it in public places. It's not, it's not worth it. I mean, for all the charge and all this, having to deal with it and having to worry about that, um, I kind of just wish that it would have been a different video that got me famous, but I can't complain. There's, it's so opened so many doors for me. Um, do you, like, uh... Um, do you want to talk about like why why the library and like the significance of being in a public place when you're working for my free cams? Um, it was like I said yesterday. It was all business. Um, I knew that it would get me more viewers and get me more money, and that's kind of why I chose a public place. And um, I definitely wasn't thinking about the consequences at the time, but. Um, it was just clearly to get more viewers. It was like my second or third day after camming and I, I just wanted more viewers and I wanted the chance to get more money. And so um, that was just clearly business. Okay. Is there anything, like, is there anything you want people to know or like anything you want to say about any of this that you just want the world to know? Um, I think they already know how I feel about it and just um, the people that want to be hateful towards me and say all these mean comments. I think that they don't know me and they shouldn't worry about me and my life. They should worry more about their life. And if they're really that judgmental, then, you know, maybe you should change the way you view things because I'm, I'm happy and living my life and that's all that should matter. It doesn't matter if you agree with what I do or not. It should matter that I'm happy and, um, you know, whatever makes them happy, I'm not going to judge them. And I've never been a person to judge other people. So it really surprises me when people have talk a lot of crap but they just they have nothing better to do so that's fine I have better stuff to do and I'm doing it so if they want to spend their time talking about me that's fine they can do that I'm busy out there making businesses for myself and making money so I really don't care um, do you want to talk to you about like the last month have you been you were on like a media tour or like what have you been up to just the last month I've been traveling a lot I realized how much I hate airplanes and how I'm never on time. I've missed two flights now. Um, I had a couple breakdowns in an airport because, you know, I have people counting on me to get there on time. And um, it's just been hard for me to get used to it. But um, I've been to Canada, which was really awesome. It was freezing, but such a beautiful place. I loved it. So I'll definitely go back there in the summer. Um, I've been down to California. We're in LA, Culver City, Sunnyvale, Chatsworth, um, is there any more? We're going to Sacramento tomorrow. 
So I've been almost everywhere in, oh yeah, San Diego. I've been almost everywhere in Canada, or not Canada, California. But that's really where all the modeling and stuff really is, so. Yeah. So you're like actively pursuing like basically like the business kind of side of what's next? Yeah, definitely. I, I had one weekend to myself after all this happened to kind of, you know, visit my parents and get all my like crying. Well, I thought I was getting all my crying out, but apparently I wasn't done. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just had one weekend to myself where I got used to the terms and then I've been working since then. Okay. Um, I mean, you are like, you're 19. Is, I mean, is this a challenging road for you for? It's been very, very, very tough for me to go from being, you know, a normal college student that can party in the weekends and sleep in until noon to, you know, having to go to bed early and, and get up early and not being able to go out and having to work instead. Um, it's been really tough for me to get used to and to let go of my old life. So, um, it, yeah, especially at 19, when I tell people I'm 19, they just, they don't believe me. <laughs> like, they go, wow, you've gotten into this so early. But I feel blessed to have found it at 19 instead of when I was older. And I probably wouldn't have opened as many doors for me. Um, but it's not like um, an easy road. It's not It's not all fun like people think. It's definitely really hard for me to get used to, but um, I'm trying. And I know I could be trying harder, so I just have to push myself to try even harder like I should be. So. It's hard for me to do, but um, you know I'm trying to make the most of it and really change and um, make a living for myself. Really, is my goals in life. Support yourself. Yeah, to support myself and not ever have to worry about paying rent because that's happened to me so many times. I've been broke so many times, and I'd have my boyfriend pay it for everything for me, and it's just like it's not something I want to do anymore. I don't like relying on people for money and to support me.